my channel and as you saw by the title I'm gonna show you today the power of makeup so this video was inspired by the beautiful super talented naked tutorials which her video went viral uh, many 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 artists started to do in the power of makeup video and I thought I should tag along I thought it was a great idea and just to show you um, the power of makeup and just showing you what you can do and how you can have fun uh, just transform yourself in a good way like even just a little bit of touching up your your skin or your eyebrows or your lip it really can change it really can enhance your beauty but today I'm just gonna take it to the next level I'm gonna do something very dramatic so you can see that you can really transform yourself and at the end of the day makeup comes off so that's the power of makeup you can take it off and you can have fun with it. So uh, I don't want to make this intro super long. So without further ado, let's begin. So I start off by doing my eyebrows and I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is their new collection that is launching very soon, all about the brows. I believe it's launching uh, by the end of this week. So keep an eye for it because it's so beautiful, the packaging, but also the product is fantastic. I've been testing out all the products in so far they are amazing so what I'm doing here I'm using the shade number five and I'm just filling in the brows and I will be doing a more detailed tutorial on my brows very soon so keep an eye for that and next I'm going to apply the high brow pencil uh, from Benefit and I intensify I put just um, a little bit more than usual just because I wanted to make sure it really lifts my brow and I blend it out with my finger because it gives like a nice blend and it really warms the product and it melts it very nice uh, on the skin next I'm going to apply my primer from Modus Cosmetics my skin primer all over my that side that I'm doing the makeup on all over my skin before I apply the foundation with my finger so next I'm gonna be using these makeup stick these tint idol ultra wear makeup stick by Lancome uh, it has SPF and I've been loving it lately. It gives you great coverage. You can use just a little bit or you can use a lot for a full coverage. So what I'm doing now is basically applying the foundation stick all over and I'm applying a good amount right on one side of my face so you guys can see the difference. And I was going for a full coverage and as you can see this foundation as soon as it glides on the skin it just gives you that nice full coverage so smooth it glides so smooth it blends so nicely and you can definitely work out this foundation to light to, I, I believe from light to full because with three stripes you just blend it out very nicely all over your skin all over your face and it will give you that nice even out uh, skin tone as well as a light coverage. So what I've grabbed now was the contour stick by Maybelline I'm, and I'm gonna start accentuating my contour, the natural contour of my face and also I'm trying to make my face a little bit more slimmer and more elongated and I'm just gonna bring that contour um, shade from the, the corner of my ear down the mouth to make it a little bit more dramatic so I'm just mapping out the contour and then I'm gonna set it with the powder to accentuate it a lot more so as you see me doing I'm just blending it out blending it out and I forgot to contour my nose of course so what I did is I went back to that contour stick and I draw a line extending it up the brow and this is a cool effect when you have a small eyes because what it will do is gonna open up your eyes and it's gonna make your lid appear a lot larger and just make your eyes appear larger as well so you should try it out it definitely works and it makes a huge difference and I also as you saw I accentuated a little bit more the contour shade that I apply just accentuated that contour and sunk in my face a little bit more I'm gonna be using the creamy radiant concealer by NARS which is my absolute favorite and this is in the shade vanilla is it vanilla yes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes and because I wanted a more dramatic highlight, 
I went ahead and did a triangle shape right underneath my eyes and I brought that shade up my lid and as you guys can see the difference between one eye and the other it just looks more open up with the contour shade that I apply and I extend it up the brow it does make a difference trust me try it out I promise you and next I'm going to apply a lot of translucent powder underneath my eyes just to make sure it really sets because I'm gonna start working on the eyes so I'm going to grab the Air Patrol Primer from Benefit. I'm going to apply this on my lid because I'm going to start um, using the eyeshadows. And then once I blend it out with the Beauty Blender, I'm going to grab my matte eyeshadow palette from Smashbox. And this is my first time using it and the shadows are so, so pigmented. So the actual shadows, I don't think they have a name or I don't know if it's in the back of the packaging. But I'm just showing you here the shades that I use one by one. So I applied that lighter shade first with my 224 brush by MAC. And I'm going to do winter wipe promotions and I'm going to build it up. So I'm building it up. I started very, very soft and then I start applying a lot more eyeshadow. And then I'm applying that maroon shade right with a smaller brush. This is the E45 by Sigma and I'm applying this right in the outer corner. Bringing it to the socket of the eye and really sunken that crease in so it gives like a nice effect of a smoky eye and it really makes that lid pops pop a lot more and come forward from the contrast of that dark and light shade so I'm going to just as you see just building up the color building up the color so I'm grabbing little by little and blending out and really concentrate the, the concentrating the color on the crease then I'm going back to my 224 brush and start erasing lines and blending out the color now I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to apply this all over my lid to kind of accentuate that, kind of like accentuate the lid a little bit more before it's like a primer. I'm just going to dab it with my finger. This is going to make that white shadow pop a little more, but I'm going to put NYX. And next I'm going to grab this lighter shade from the palette and I'm going to apply this all over my lid with the flat brush that comes with the palette and I'm just doing dabbing motions, dabbing motions and I went back to the E45 brush by Sigma to just erase any lines between those two colors. Then I'm using here the Inglet Gel Liner with the Tar um, eyeliner brush and I'm just drawing mapping the the, um, the eyeliner and I went for a more dramatic liner because I'm gonna wear dramatic lashes so I wanted to do something um, that really stood out so I went for the whole drama all over uh, so if you want to I do have a tutorial on how to create this liner so if you want to check it out I get, I'll give you some great tips and tricks that I do to really uh, perfect the liner so yeah I'm just mapping out the liner here and then once I'm done I went into the inner corner to just um, accentuate the liner in the inner corner and then create like a little bit of a double wing like in the inner corner if that makes sense and then next I grabbed the lasting drama black pencil by Maybelline and this is waterproof so I applied it all over the waterline and then what I did is I blended out the edges and I applied a little bit of the shadow that I applied on the crease right on the lower lash line and then I'm going to apply this eyeshadow in the color Winnie from Colourpop right on my lower lash line right towards the inner corner to give me that pop of shimmer and then let's move on to the lashes I'm using Grand Glamour lashes by Vegas Nay the drugstore and they're so beautiful and let's move on to the bottom lashes so I'm using here the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal which is one of my favorites and then I'm going to set and also sculpt a lot more of my face with the Hoola bronzer by Benefit and I'm just bronzing my skin a lot more and as you can see now it's looking more slimmer because I'm really contouring I need those cheeks to go in and sunk in and that's what I'm doing now and I'm just whatever is left over on the brush putting it right on the side of my nose so let's move on to these amazing luxurious cheek color powder 
from Artist Couture. It was my first time trying it. So what I'm doing is basically blending it out with the bronzer. And it's just giving you that nice highlighted like look on the side. Like it's just it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I actually put it on top of the bronzer to give me that glowy effect and it worked so amazing. Amazing. It's it looks so beautiful. And then I'm going to um, line my lips with Trophy White White Contour Lip Contour by Huda Beauty and I'm applying these all over the lips and then I'm going to use a gloss and this is Setter Destiny by Gerard Cosmetics and both look amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. This is to show you that makeup is fun. Makeup is it's just, it gives you more confidence, but at the same time, you should feel as comfortable with or without makeup. We are just beautiful the way we are, and makeup is just art. We should have fun with it, and we shouldn't be bullied by how we look with or without makeup. So please be kind with each other, and I love you guys. See you on my next video. Bye.